I've talked a lot about some of the things that we've been through in the last few years as a family. I've talked about us finding real recognizing that my husband's family, a lot of them were very abusive, his parents and um, others who supported his parents. And then I've talked about how after going no contact with them, we started to recognize that there were similar dynamics in my family of origin. And that eventually led to us two years ago, roughly, um, going no contact with my family, with my parents, one of my brothers, and leaving the church that we were a part of. And so I've talked about some of the losses that that brought us. There were a lot of losses. Uh, we lost our employment. We lost most of our community, most of our village. Um, what, what, what village we did have, most of it was tied up there. Uh, we lost a lot of friends. We had to move because things were just so bad where we were. And there was just a lot of grief that we had to walk through together as a family and then individually as well. And I wanted to share with you some encouragement, share with you some of the ways that we're seeing healing and growth and improvement and things getting better. Because I think it's really easy, especially when you're just so tired and you're going through so much, to wonder if it's even worth it. And that was certainly one of the things that kept us where we were for so long. We had just blocked out of our brain the option of leaving, the option of discontinuing these relationships at a close level. That wasn't an option in our mind. And it kept us there a lot longer than it needed to because we felt like we had no guarantees once we left those those places and those relationships. And people who are in high control religious groups, people who are in dysfunctional families, that is a narrative that is pushed on you all the time you're in those groups, that if you leave, no one's gonna support you. If you leave, you've got nothing. And it feels like that when you're trying to decide whether you should leave or not. And so I wanted to share this video as a way of encouraging those who might be in that space and wondering, wondering if it's worth it, wondering if it's ever going to get better. And I just want you to know, I don't feel like we're fully healed yet. Um, we've been out of this about two years and I've been, my healing process started before we left the Plymouth Brethren group we were a part of and it started even before we went no contact with my own family. That process began before and it has continued and it's intensified the last couple of years when we got out of these places. But I wanted to share with you ways that we're seeing growth, ways that we're seeing healing, and whether two years out from it, out from maybe the um, crises points that we were in two years ago, whether what my experience has been, because I also think it's important after sharing all these difficult things that we've lived through to emphasize that there is hope on the other side of it. You can survive it. And we are still here. We're still together as a family. My husband and I's marriage has probably never been stronger, um, never been healthier. And our relationship with our kids as parents has, even though we've had so much grief and so many apologies and so many amends to make with our children, our relationship with our kids is stronger than ever. Their relationship with each other is stronger than ever, generally speaking. And so I want to share that because I know there are others who need to know that there is hope and that you can heal.